What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be talking about some of the mods I did on the Mustang and five of my favorite must-haves on my 2010 Mustang. So number one has to be the exhaust. So I'm going to turn the car on for you guys, but stock, this car sounds like garbage. So the car is warm, so it's not a cold start, but stock this car sounds horrible it's with the v6 so if you guys are planning to get a v6 get an exhaust and a quality exhaust so mine is a custom y pipe so i'm gonna turn it on for you guys so again that is warm uh it's not obnoxiously loud especially on the inside the inside's like properly soundproofed you don't hear it, a lot of the drone from the inside, but everyone that hears my cars, I get complaints all the time. Um, and everyone that hears this car, they say it sounds like an airstrike. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a few revs here. So, I love this sound. I love the car. Um, that has to be number one. So if you guys are planning on buying a Mustang or have a Mustang, get a custom exhaust uh, it's fully legal I have a muffler I have a resonator it is a cat back exhaust so you ran a custom Y pipe um, to duals dual tips so it sounds great um, I also heard that H pipes sound good on uh, V6 Mustangs too or if you want to be just obnoxious go straight pipe and that's it but I don't recommend that that is not legal in Toronto so number one exhaust all right guys so number two Tesla screen guys this thing makes your life so much easier it looks good it's easy to install it's not that expensive very responsive uh, Bluetooth video you can watch a movie they have like fast and furious downloaded on this uh, there's radio navigation. I don't have the navigation and then there's easy phone link So you do have kind of like an Apple CarPlay uh, Your phone does have to be connected and then it just like links your screen uh, Links your phone screen to your car. So it's honestly amazing one of the best mods and like useful mods um, That I had done to the car great honestly get it if you guys have uh any s197 owners please get the tesla screen it honestly changes the look of the car gets a lot of compliments it looks oem fits perfectly it's just a plug and play thing easy changes your life hands down one of the greatest mods on the mustang all right guys so number three has to be my air intake and throttle body spacer. The air intake makes this sucking noise every time you push the gas. It's just a must have. Um, so it did make a significant difference. Uh, I have a BBK cold air intake and a BBK throttle body spacer on the car and it runs a lot smoother, more fuel efficient sounds good makes the car faster off the line better throttle response more torque it's just great and it's not that expensive it's like two 250 bucks uh easy install it's just great maintain it clean the the filter every once in a while and it'll last you forever and make the car run a lot cleaner and better so get an air intake on your Mustang. So number four is gonna be my carbon steering wheel. It's comfortable. The original one isn't the nicest. Uh, this one has the blue stitching, the blue strip, and just the carbon and a little bit of a flat bottom here. Makes the driving experience a lot better. Um, it's also bigger and has like these little grooves for like when you're driving it's just ergonomic and it's great so i would say that this is a must-have on my mustang ties everything on the interior together and makes the driving experience 
a hundred times better. So that has to be number four. Number five. So this isn't only going to be like on the Mustang. This is going to be on every car. Tints. Get good quality tints because I didn't. Um, but tints are a must have when modding cars. Um, not even modding cars. Just looks so much better than just a, a fish bowl. Um, no one can see inside. You can still see outside. It's not bad right now, but at nighttime I can't see anything because these aren't good quality tints. I didn't get it done. I bought the car like this, but we did get the rear done. Uh, the rear, uh, is it a windshield? We got the rear done right when we got the car because it was like hazy and very bad quality. But now the rear, we got good quality tints and you could see straight out of it at nighttime a lot better than the, the actual ones you need. So get good quality tint when tinting your car and you need to tint your car. It looks so much better, better for privacy too and for the sun and UV protection on all my carbon. So that has to be number five. I think that's going to wrap up the list. So it's going to be a super short video this week, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what your must-haves are. On your Mustang, these are just cheap little mods you guys can do. Um, more aesthetic than performance because I didn't do too much performance on this car because I am planning something soon in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, comment your favorite mods on your cars and your favorite mods on my car. Um, let me know what you guys want to see in next week's video and have a great day.